Hey everybody, welcome to the Starting Pack Short Tutorial Series. Here we're going to learn how to create a business application where you can create documents and pass them from one employee to another with different stages of acceptance and permissions. The document will follow a predetermined workflow path that will include several steps. There will be an option to reject a document as well, with comments on why it was rejected. This is a common type of application that handles corporate document workflow. Still, building such an application from the ground up takes a lot of resources, so we'll use a core system called DWKit for building our application. Deploying DWKit is pretty straightforward, and the only prerequisite for the process is that you need to have Docker installed. If you don't have it yet, just follow the installation instructions on the docker.com website, and then come back here. We'll be installing it on a Mac OS system. Download the installation package from the website via the link you see on the screen. OK, now scroll down and you'll find a few downloading options, but we're interested in the starter pack only. So let's click Download. This version has a pre-wired system structure that includes a data model, an admin user, etc., so it'll be easier for us to jump right in. We'll only need to add document forms and users, and configure our business flow. OK, so after you download the starter pack, you need to unzip the archive and run terminal. Then change the directory to starter pack. You can just drag and drop the folder onto the terminal window to copy the path. OK, now use the chmod command with a plus x attribute to make these files executable for the current macOS user. Start as container.sh as one word and the docker files folder forward slash wait for postgres.sh file with dashes instead of spaces. And next, launch start as container.sh from the current directory. A period and forward slash prefix ensures that this shell script is executed correctly. It'll take some time to deploy and run the system on your computer, so you can go ahead and grab a coffee. On average, it takes from five to seven minutes, so I'll just use some video magic to skip the wait. Don't close the terminal window though, because it'll be the host for our application. OK, great. Now that we're up and running, open your browser and go to localhost port 48800. And that'll open a login window. All right, so enter admin for username and the digit 1 for password. You can change it later, but I'll keep it simple for this demo. OK, now you can see the DWKit Starter Pack homepage for the admin user. Click where it says click here for open admin panel. Notice the link has been changed to slash admin, which means we're in the admin panel right now. And in the future, you can use the regular link for end users and the admin for configuring the system. By the way, you can set your own port in docker-compose.yml or in the shell scripts, which are start.sh for Linux-based systems, and start.bat for Windows. OK, let me resize the browser window to the full screen, but keep in mind that the terminal window is hosting the process in the background. OK, let's get back to the admin panel so we can add some users and define user roles.